Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just went and picked up this 1985 Honda Aero 50. I got it for a hundred bucks and uh, I thought I was getting a great deal, but uh, this thing's a little bit rougher than it looked like in the photos, but I mean, you can't beat a hundred bucks scooter. So I uh, picked it up and uh, let me get this pulled out quick and then uh, we'll take a better look at it. Okay guys, here it is. Just got it unloaded. So the story behind this was, uh, I found this on Craigslist. The guy said in the ad, like he had it running at one point, no title, you know, broken plastics. And uh, the photos didn't show that. I, I noticed that like it was missing that right there, but I didn't see that the fender was broken. That was broken. This was broken in here. So all of that, I didn't know. Um, I guess his uh, dad crashed it and uh, basically screwed it up. But um, he was like pretty certain that it would run and everything. Um, he said it wouldn't start right now, but um, he said probably it just needs the, the battery um, charged, which is under here. And uh, so when I went and checked it out, you know, I put the key in and pulled the brake in and try to start it and just nothing so i was like dang and then i just got home and i noticed that this model has a kickstart and uh i think maybe like the 86 or 87 only has electric start and this is like an 85 so it's got kickstart so that's awesome so i just literally turned it into the on position kicked it one time and it started right up the thing runs so great. It's got like eight, 8,700 miles on it. And I just took it out for a ride and uh, top speed was like 38, I think, which I think it's supposed to be able to go a little bit faster than that, but still pretty good. It's super peppy off the line. Um, yeah, but look at that, it's just putting along no smoke um yeah and then once you get going this thing just like floats it's uh super smooth the gearing is just about right fast off the line and then it's like it just kicks into overdrive um headlight works we're gonna have to look into why the electric starts not working maybe it's just I'm not sure. Hopefully it's just the battery. Maybe the starter's out on it, but. I think we'll be able to fix this thing up pretty nice. It's got a lot of like cosmetic stuff that's just messed up on it. But once we get that fixed, then uh, I think this will be a nice little scooter. Um, he gave me like the pieces that came off of it. So I'm thinking that what we're gonna do is just like this will sit back in there and uh, we'll either like plastic weld this stuff back on or JB weld it or something. And this is like the for the front fender. So I mean, we have all the pieces, I think, most of them. And so we should be able to get this thing back looking somewhat presentable. Um, we can check out the seat under the seat let's see if i can do this so you got the oil right here you got your gas on most bikes i convert um i like delete the oil pump and uh just run premix but i mean this is a hundred buck bike so i i honestly don't really care i think uh it's kind it's kind of convenient to just fill it up with gas and just run it so I think for this one, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, hopefully it's mixing. Probably on the next video, um, when we kind of tear this thing apart, um, we can verify to make sure that oil pump's working. But I mean, I just took it out for probably a 10 minute ride and I didn't see any problems. So um, yeah, so this is just kind of like a before video of uh, 
me checking the bike out and then uh, I think we'll do another video on kind of cleaning it up, fixing the plastics, kind of going through the bike, make, making sure all the mechanicals are good. But I mean, honestly, I am I am so surprised that this thing started up so easily. The tires, I think the guy said it's got new tires on it. You can see the little nibs are still on there. The brakes are super good on it. So, uh, let's see. It was last registered in 87, so this thing only had like a license on it for like two years. Um, but yeah, super fun little scooter. I've never had an Aero 80. Um, I have the first ever Aero 50. I have like the second gen Aero 50. And now I have an Aero 80. So super excited to have this bike. Um, I think it will be a fun little rider for around town. It's kind of a beater, but um, not all of them are going to be perfect conditions. So uh I think that's gonna do it for this video guys make sure you're subscribed i'll be doing a second video on this one upcoming pretty soon so uh, stay tuned for that hit that like button for me and uh leave a comment if you have any questions and uh i'll see you guys on the next video